No, I don't worry. I tell you, I'm a man who believes. Yo, this is what about Creekwater BGOV representative. And I live like right now, you're on the daily pursuit with BJ no and Smile. Question. The homies. Y'all stay tuned. Anything. Don't go nowhere, man. We so ain't what you and I have to do is get involved. You and I have to be right there breathing down their throat. Every time they look over their shoulder, we want them to see us. Big city vision, small town heart. For everything I am, I'm trying to high five God. Limousine dreams, feeling like it's old to me. Rick the ruler, coolest nigga, rocking gold to me. I smoke Kush, Reggie smells uncivilized. And hating go against the shit that I epitomize. And one day I see my name up in lights. For any nigga that don't, you probably need to get some bigger eyes. Am I impressed with your success? No, homie. I'm tired of niggas making songs that gotta grow on me. Um, how I got started in the rap game. I got my first deal when I was like 17 years old. I was signed to a, a label, Live Records. Um, Steve Rippin, shouts out to Steve Rippin. I was signed to a label, Live Records. I was in a group, and the uh, group was called Jadis. And uh, I was around 17, 18 years old. That was my start, that was my introduction into music, professionally. Man, being from the South, we looked up, I looked up to, you know, the, the, as far as rap was concerned, the Outkast, UGK, Goody Mall, 8 by MJG, I grew up off all that, you know, Pop, Biggie, and, uh, you know, then there are others like Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, people like that, you know what I'm saying, I looked up to, so. Cool. I mean... No, I, I dig a lot of up and coming, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the you know new rappers out there doing their thing, like J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? I, um, Wiz, I fuck with what he's doing. Uh, Currency, a couple others, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I haven't had the chance to work with him yet, but you know, it's in the works, if you will. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're putting it together. Like, Big Crit, that's the homie. I actually work with him, and we're about to do some more work together, so y'all stay tuned for that. Birth of a Dictator. Um, it's an album. Um, it's uh, Bobby Creek to an extreme, and basically uh, that came about when I got to a point in my life where I got tired of being dictated to because I felt like my whole career somebody was trying to dictate or tell me how I should do things, how I should go about doing this, that, whether it be music-wise or just on some real life shit. And I came to a point where it was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna trust my heart, my instincts, and call the shots and be the king of my chessboard, so I'm, I'm gonna be the dictator. I'm gonna dictate what goes on in Bob Creek's life. You know, that's how the birth of the dictator came about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't gonna give away everything yet, but yeah, we, you know what I mean? We got some surprise, I tricks on my shit. We did some shit, you know? Y'all stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to um, bring excitement back, man. Shit be so boring and redundant. I'm just trying to, Bring the game back to a point where you know you're excited, you anticipate something, you waiting on this shit to come out. You're telling your homeboy, your homegirl about it. You talking about the lyrics or something. You get, you know what I'm saying? The verse might be so hard, you gotta call your homeboy. I'm trying to bring that whole thing back. So that's what that's what we're doing. Uh, don't do this shit. <laughs> nah, real talk. If you just have to do this shit, like can't nobody tell you not to do it. Um. Just uh, follow your heart, man. Like, you'll, you'll um, avoid a lot of bullshit if you just follow your heart. Like, your first instinct. Like, please follow that. I know people gonna tell you all type of shit. You're gonna hear no a million times. Just follow your heart. That's what I said. That's my biggest piece of advice. Because there are times I wish I had to follow my heart. I listened to somebody and I didn't. And it just made my, my you know what I'm saying? What I was doing harder. You feel me? One thing I couldn't live without, my children. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they exposed me to another side of myself, you know what I'm saying, that I never knew existed. Uh, this shit was beautiful. The experience of being a father. One thing I would like to do before I die, uh, Africa. I, wanna, I, wanna, I gotta hit Africa. Like, right? a couple different places, but yeah, definitely hit Africa. Man, y'all trying to give me a troll. <laughs> a lot of crazy to a story. Now, um, let me think of something light. So I don't want to incriminate myself. Thanks, like, um, 
What was I at? Um, oh, I was in Japan. And uh, I was in Japan, me and my homeboy was on a train in Japan. Like, don't know where the fuck we going. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hope we're gonna take a break right quick. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. The ties co signed it for a check. So even though I live here, they feel the need to slam the dough on me. A king to my daughter, a father to my son. I'm from the south, nigga. I fuck with pimp and bun. All right, back to a crazy tour story. I was in Japan, man. My homeboy was on the train. He in front of me. He pulling his suitcase. I got my suitcase. So anyway, the train stops. At the stop, he gets off. An old lady just happens to get up and drop all her luggage right in front of me. So I'm helping her pick her shit up. I get up. Train pull off. Oh. I'm still on the train in Japan. All I see is mountains and green pastures and shit. I don't know where I'm at, which stop to get off of. And most of the people in Japan don't speak English. Take that. Ten dollars. No spend on shit. It's on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man, if I don't do nothing else, gotta eat. Uh, it's one of my favorite pastimes, man. I love food. Different, trying different food, you know what I'm saying? I'm well traveled, so I just try a lot of different shit. I'm well I travel, so if I had 10 bucks, nine times out of 10, I'm going to some food. Right. Shout out to BGOV, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the regime team. Shout out to uh, everybody out there that uh, aspires to be something great. Um, shout out to the fans, everybody who showed me support, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to um, all the blogs that fuck with me, iBuyCrew.com. Log on to that, check out what's going on with Creek. Shout out to Steve O'Neill, management team, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who just stayed down, man, and just see what I struggle. Oh yeah, definitely Twitter, um, Bobby Creek Water, uh, iBobbyCreek.com. You know what I'm saying? Between those two places, there it is. You'll, you'll definitely catch up with your choir. My daily pursuit? Oh, Conquer the World. It goes hand in hand with the whole dictator shit. Like, it's for real. Like, yeah, nah, um, my daily pursuit is just to make the best music possible and to affect the world, you know what I'm saying, from a musical standpoint in a positive way. By the flies they can get, I didn't have to charter. I cut your music off, imagine that I'm getting sharper. My shit stays on the web, nigga Peter Parker. They can't fuck with me, no woman, no guy. I'm Martin Luther Swag, Malcolm X, Bowtie.